<laughs> I'm just kidding. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 unscripted supernatural moments that were kept in the show. Why did I do that earlier? He'd been studying you. He hurt his feelings. For this list, we're going over the reported spontaneous moments and improvised lines from the TV show Supernatural. If there's an impromptu moment that didn't make our list, carry on down to our comments to tell us about it. Number 10. A Punch to Confirm Before getting those oh-so-fashionable tattoos, the Winchester boys have to worry about being possessed by demons. See, this was a test. Wanted to see if I could push you far enough to waste Sam. One of their most frequently encountered demonic foes is Meg, and she possesses Sam in this episode. Although Bobby and Dean are able to capture Meg, she breaks out and beats Dean up. There. That's better. Fortunately, Bobby manages to expel the demon. As Sam reels from the experience, which he can't remember, Dean punches his brother in the face. Sammy. Did I miss anything? Originally, the scene was meant to end on Sam's bewildered amnesia. Dean's actor Jensen Ackles improvised the punch, which only made Sam's confusion even funnier. Number 9. Rude Sign Language Special Agent Butler, FBI. Do you know anything about what happened with Arthur last night? Dolly, I wasn't working last night. While investigating a banshee terrorizing a retirement home, Sam and Dean encounter Eileen Leahy, a deaf hunter out for revenge on the banshee after it killed her parents. She and Sam have a fun connection throughout the episode and thereafter. When they first met, though, Sam attempts to sign to Eileen, seemingly saying thanks. However, the sign is actually the one for the F word. Actors Shoshana Stern and Jared Padalecki came up with the joke together. You've been on your own ever since? I prefer working alone. Trust issues. Yeah, I know. It's no wonder folks started shipping them, considering this was part of their first interaction. All right, um, thanks. <laughs> yeah, um, thanks. Number eight, German Castiel. On an apocalyptic version of Earth where the Winchesters were never born, angels and demons battle it out on a world with humans caught in the middle. He'd been studying you. This world's version of Charlie Bradbury is being unsuccessfully tortured by angels when her tormentors call in a specialist, Castiel. Pure steel. I haven't seen many like you. However, this version of Castiel is notably different, seemingly blind in one eye, having a facial tick, and wearing a different coat. Oh, and he also has a German accent. And then all of your little secrets they flow from your mind to mine until your mind no longer exists. The last of these was not in the script, and actor Misha Collins came up with it after seeing his wardrobe. Collins apparently regrets the choice now, though it's certainly memorable. More than one of us. Fascinating. Number seven, hurt feelings. I'll search the town. Give me a moment. While we're on the subject of Castiel, everyone's favorite angel joins Sam, Dean, and Bobby when they investigate a town in Oregon where Eve, the mother of monsters, has set up shop. However, upon arrival, Cass has trouble using his usual angel teleportation. Cass, we can still see you. Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, well, you don't have to wait on us. When Dean uses a colorful metaphor for Castiel's impotence and insults his usefulness without his powers, the angel simply turns and looks away. Oh, well, that's great, because without your power, you're basically just a baby in a trench coat. Reportedly, Misha Collins actually forgot what his original line was, leading Jared Padalecki to improvise Sam's observation that Dean may have hurt Cass's feelings. We guess some mistakes work out for the better. He hurt his feelings. Number 6. Gate Trip While investigating a mysterious death involving stigmata wounds, Sam and Dean are pointed towards a religious family who live off the beaten path. While walking up the drive, the brothers discuss their recently returned and then departed mother. She hates the way that we were raised. She hates the fact that we're hunters. Maybe she starts walking and she doesn't stop. You know, she obviously has zero interest in keeping this family together. 
However, their entrance to said drive sees Dean attempt to hop the fence by awkwardly shimmying over it, while Sam goes around with little effort. It's a small, funny bit of character interaction that was not in the script, but invented on set. It certainly feels like a typical sibling moment for the Winchesters. Number 5. Dean and the Lizard While this episode primarily focuses on side characters attempting to save the Winchesters, the boys do feature in it as well. Trapped in an alternate universe inhabited by giant monsters, Sam and Dean are forced to make do with what they can find to survive, which means eating lizards. No, no, don't, don't tell me it tastes like chicken. No, Sam, it's a lizard. It tastes like a lizard. Dean seems more willing to indulge in eating the local fauna, and when one of the larger monsters starts to sound closer and closer, the duo hurries off. What do you think it is? Let's not find out. However, Dean goes back for the cooked lizard after initially leaving it behind. Jensen Ackles improvised the moment, as he reasoned that Dean would never leave food behind, even lizard on a stick. Number 4. Fighting Fairies This hilarious X-Files style episode sees the Winchesters looking into crop circles. But instead of aliens, the true culprits appear to be fairies. Unfortunately for Dean, but not for us, he accidentally attacks a little person after mistaking the man for a fairy. Help! Help! Little fairy. What do you want, you fairy? Although his hilarious excuse that he was just kidding was also an improvisation by Ackles, our pick goes to a moment a little bit later. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Naturally, Dean is arrested for assaulting the man, and as he's being put in the police car, he yells to Sam, Fight the fairies! You fight those fairies! Although this off-the-cuff line by Dean is funny in context, just imagining what all the bystanders think makes it even more so. Find the fairies! Number three, Dean's catchphrase. Uh, he was he was a bad son of a bitch, something. As any supernatural fan knows, Dean's favorite exclamation involves mentioning the male child of a female dog. The amount of time Dean uses the expression leads it to essentially becoming his catchphrase. Because I'm starting to cramp like a son of a bitch. Quit whining. No, Sam, I mean son of a bitch. Although many of the times Dean says it are in fact scripted, Jensen Ackles occasionally included the expletive when it wasn't written in previously, as a result of how in character he gets. You kinky son of a bitch, we don't swing that way. One memorable instance is at the conclusion of the season 3 episode, Bad Day at Black Rock. After discovering that Bella Talbot had stolen his winning lottery tickets, Dean is left stunned. Dean's outburst wasn't scripted, and you can see Jared Padalecki trying not to laugh. Son of a bitch! We're right there with him. Number 2. Scooby Dooby F Bomb. It's not a dream. Holy crap. This. this, uh. You saw that light. Did we just get sucked into the TV? We still can't believe this episode is real. Sam, Dean, and Castiel get sucked into TV land, specifically the animated world of Scooby-Doo. Oh, man, this is like a dream come true. Your dream is to hang out with the Scooby gang? While there, they encounter an all-too-real ghost, which clashes hilariously and traumatically with the Scooby gang's usual antics foiling old people in masks. The gang doesn't take it well. Sam, are you crazy? They can't use this stuff. That's a Scooby don't. However, thanks to a pep talk from Dean, they regain their confidence. Dean also claims that they can help out by doing what they do best, making a trap. But we can help. We have to. You're right, you can. You're gonna do what you do best. Build a trap. Although most of this speech was scripted, Dean's use of the F word for emphasis was an invention of Jensen Ackles in the recording booth. Jinkies. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Grenade Launcher. The whole exchange between Sam and Dean over the weapon was unscripted. No. Why? Dean, we need to be stealth. Do this quietly. He... Dean? Dean? We'll get a chance. It's okay. Fourth wall break. Dean looking at the camera when Destiel is mentioned was all ackles. Although we do explore the nature of Destiel in Act 2. Sorry, what? Oh, it's just subtext. 
But then again, you know, you can't spell subtext without S-E-X. Slap. The two actors improvise the bit with the butt slap. That's just a little bit more than the law will allow. The scent of Dean. Possessed Samuel sniffing Dean was Mitch Pileggi's creepy, creepy idea. Are you one of my psychic kids? No, not you. Bunny Buddy. Jensen decided for Dean to pick up and pet the wayward wabbit. Ugh. Hey, buddy. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Eye of the Tiger You probably saw this coming. During the episode Yellow Fever, Dean is cursed with fear at nearly everything. Dude, you're going 20. And? That's the speed limit. But what, safety's a crime now? To give himself the courage in one scene, he lies down in the Impala and listens to Eye of the Tiger while air drumming. Although the scene in the episode proper stops shortly thereafter, Jensen Ackles continues his performance of the song in a now famous outtake aired after the episode, lip syncing to the lyrics and using his leg to play guitar. It's such a funny and surprising moment, and it's all thanks to Ackles just screwing around on set and the director leaving the camera rolling. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.